They say everyone loves a Cinderella story. Well, it happened here at Stanford Stadium when the underdog UC Davis Aggies played their hearts out and beat a team with more money, more power, and certainly more prestige. UC Davis had waited decades to come here to challenge a team where the only thing they had in common was brain power. You're about to see dreams unfold. What this game really means uh, to UC Davis, not only the football team, the athletic program, but the whole campus. What do you think? To be able to come down here, Pac-10, um, it's just been a great thing for all the Aggies. It's been a re reigniting of many, many people for many years. Well, I'm just proud of them. It's really what I'm going to tell them before the game. And, uh, and I don't want them to feel the burden of, you know, all the years that uh, UC Davis has played football that we finally get our opportunity. But I, I, I want them to know that they're representing, you know, so many Aggie teams for the last 30-plus years. Um, that have gone out and represented UC Davis with class and dignity and played as hard as they could and let the outcome decide itself. Um, and that's all I'm going to tell them. Big games like this, you don't need a big Newt Rockney speech. Uh, you know the kids are excited about playing. If anything, you want to try to calm them down a little bit. This is a big game for us. We're excited to be playing Stanford. It's fun to be here, and obviously we have a lot of support, so it's going to be fun. Now, the score probably doesn't mean that much, even if they get wiped out. Uh, what, if, if, if they do... If they may or may not happen. That's true. The other thing I want you to do, when you go out on the field today, did you see how many Davis fans are out there? Oh, you. Yeah. Okay, twice that many, gang. They had over 3,000 people over tailgating getting ready for this game. An unbelievable turnout. Hundreds of former players. You watched that film this afternoon, and you saw what Aggie football is all about. It's about pride and playing with each other. You are the most fortunate team of any team that's played here. Because you're getting an opportunity to live the dream that so many of them live. Enjoy the dream. Play up to the level and the dream that you want to play. You've dreamt about what you would do and how you would play. Play up to that level. When we come back and watch the film on Monday, be proud of the effort. Be proud of what you did out there. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> Head football coach Bob Biggs could not have asked for a team more excited and more ready to play than this night in Palo Alto. These young Aggie football players were in the biggest game of their lives and playing in the biggest stadium. The night was perfect. The moon and stars were in their proper place and the thousands of Aggie football fans were going to have a good time no matter the outcome. Here's Ostrander, has time, looks downfield, has a man, is caught at the 20 yard line, shaking away McCollum, and he gets a few extra. Coming to the right side and then a bad snap. Down the sideline, has a man, Tony Case. It was in his grasp, but then fell out incomplete. John Grant stepping back, has time, and he's going to be sacked for the safety. He fumbled the ball, he did fumble the ball. Not only did you get sacked in the end zone, it's a touchdown, Stanford. By the end of the first quarter, Stanford led 10 to nothing, but UC Davis was beginning to move the ball downfield. Here's John Grant, the throw downfield has a man. Tony Case stretches the body and makes a catch all the way down at the Stanford 10 yard line. Right side, he's on his way. He's going, he's going, and he's in. Touchdown, UC Davis. <laughs> Here's the snap. The hold is high. It is down. A benchman will kick it. It's a flubber, and it goes wide left. Unfortunately, good offensive drives ended with three missed field goals. The snap, the hold, the kick by Benjamin. It is up, and it is no good. Wow, the woes continue for the kicking game of UC Davis. Two missed field goals, two missed point afters. At halftime, the Aggies were down, but not out. And the hold, the kick, it is blocked, it is blocked, and UC Davis has it, they'll take over first down and 10, and pure elation down on the field for UC Davis. 
Another play action pass. Ostrander to the end zone. It is thrown and it's intercepted at the one yard line. Or will they call it incomplete? And they're going to give it to UC Davis. Hand off Doris. He's on his way. Touchdown, UC Davis. Oh, baby, yes. Most trainer now having problems, and he's going down. He is sacked for the third time in this game. Yeah, a lot of heavy hitting going on, and UC Davis not backing off one bit, and that's been the beauty of this game. The second half saw a resurgent UC Davis team that simply took control both on offense and defense. Again, the Aggie defense has been outstanding. John Grant looking to throw, has a man. It's Kay's caught at the six-yard line. First and goal, UC Davis. They're going crazy. Here we go. The play that matters. John Grant under center. He'll drop back. He'll throw to the end zone. Caught! Touchdown, UC Davis! They have done it! Ryan Smith with the biggest catch in UC Davis football history. 20-17. Eight seconds remaining, and I cannot believe what is happening in front of us. 20 to 17, eight seconds remaining. UC Davis with a three point lead. On the brink of what will be the biggest upset in history, and it's almost a sack. Able to get away as Ostrander. Now he's almost sacked again. Then he throws. It's a Hail Mary. It's up in the air, and it's knocked down. It's over. It's over. The second half was the fulfillment of the pregame message. This group of young athletes was the most fortunate team to have ever played. They were indeed living the dream. The fallen gladiators were demoralized, as was the Stanford coach, Walt to, Harris. To, uh, congratulate uh, the Davis football team. Um, you know, they came, obviously, ready to play four quarters. Our football team um, didn't appear to be the same football team that was here last, that played last week in our uniforms, um, and I'm responsible for it. You know, I, I, I told people that we'd be ready to play, and obviously, uh, especially on offense, we were not. What could go wrong went wrong tonight. It seemed like it was one of those nights, and we weren't able to overcome it. So uh, I congratulate UC Davis because they fought us, and um, we got a lot of work to do. Just tell me about it. I feel like I'm in a dream. I really do. I, I just, it's just too unbelievable. I mean, these kids are just so resilient. You know, we lose two heartbreakers. They never, ever give up. Uh, it's just unbelievable. In the second half, this team did remarkably well on defense. You kept moving defense. on offensive. What, what are you going to tell your defensive team? Oh, was, I, they had them confused all night long. I mean, two scores came on offensive mistakes. I mean, it's just it's an unbelievable effort. They played so well all year. Is this the greatest win you've ever had, ever oh, experienced? Un unbelievable. I mean, against the odds, I mean... Nobody, and I mean nobody, gave us a chance. And, and the win. thousands of fans behind you have kept this, kept this whole stadium rocking. What do you think of that? Is that unbelievable?